As we get closer and closer to Election Day, the rise in at-home voting is giving more people time to look at their ballots just a little bit more closely. And with that, of course, comes a lot more questions in some of this election's key issues. So a viewer wrote in to, to the point and asked us last night, can you explain why Prop 29 says if passed, treatment will stop? They want to know if we can explain why Prop 29 could close down some of California's dialysis clinics. So this is a very popular question. We get it all the time. And it also might sound pretty familiar to longtime California voters. So here's Brandon Ritterman to break down everything you need to know about Prop 29. If it feels like every election you're being asked to vote on kidney dialysis clinics, you're right. Prop 29 makes it three elections in a row. It all started with Prop 8 back in 2018. We're all gonna get to vote on how the business of dialysis works thanks to Prop 8. It would have, among other things, capped the profits of dialysis clinics. California voters rejected it 60-40. Next election in 2020 came Prop, Prop 23, 23, a scaled back version that wouldn't have capped the profits, but would have enacted a bunch of new rules on dialysis clinics. That one went down in flames, 60 63 to 37. That proposition was very similar to the one that appears as Prop 29 now. It would require a doctor or nurse to be available at each dialysis clinic, at least through telehealth, and it would also enact rules for transparency of clinic owners and reporting of infections. Enforcing these new rules would cost the state tens of millions of dollars. A yes vote would pass this third attempt at a crackdown on dialysis clinics. A no vote would make it a third defeat. What do you call that, a three feet? That was ABC 10's Brandon Ritterman. The election is now two weeks away and we are working to answer some of the questions you have. You can scan the QR code on your screen or go to abc10.com politics and let us know if there's anything about the voting process or anything on the ballot that you'd like us to explain. So some of our team was out in the community earlier today. They surveyed community members at the Valley High North Laguna Library in South Sacramento. We heard from people about their biggest concerns right now, which included, of course, inflation and affordable housing, as we were just talking about, and why or why not they're choosing to vote this November. We encourage you to also fill out our survey and let us know what are your biggest concerns right now and why you will go out and vote or not vote this November. You can find the survey at abc10.com slash politics or just scan that QR code that's in the bottom right there. And if you couldn't make it to our event today, do not worry. We have a lot more coming up later this week. We'll be at Valley High Laguna Library, the T and Y Market and the Mutual Assistance Network Harvest Festival. These are all great chances for you to meet our team and also get a lot more voting resources.